I enjoy philosophy to a certain degree. On one of my videos uh, entitled Character, Part 1, where I talk about, uh, where I do a reading from Schopenhauer, where the book The World as Will and Representation, uh, it's got little, you know, four to seven hits. It's been rated two and a half stars. Um, you know, I've got somebody calling himself Coral Outbreak who uh, commented, says, quote, it sort of figures that you'd worship a man who hated women and died alone with his cat. Now, Coral, how Schopenhauer died is completely irrelevant to anything that he wrote. Number two, you obviously did not watch the entire video. Uh, I can tell because if you did, you would have seen and understood that it was a reading from uh, Schopenhauer, Schopenhauer's book, not my thoughts. I mean, if you had even sought to look at the category that this is listed under, it says ed education. It's just, that's just it, education. You know, this is the first time that I've been exposed to Schopenhauer's works. I know relatively little about him. You know, and uh, one thing that I've noticed is with all philosophers, they have usually have had tragic lives. I'm not sure if tragedy is a prerequisite for asking the big questions, whereas a lot of people really just don't ask the big questions. Uh, you know. What is man's purpose? That's a damn big question. Those philosophers who devote their entire lives to that one question. You know, people like you, Coral Outbreak, you know, you're just... You're at the lower level. You really are. You're a piece of scum. You really are. You know why? Well, because number one, you're more interested in something like, uh, whether or not Britney Spears is wearing, uh, you know, her panties during a concert, or, you know, how much longer till uh, Miley Cyrus is old enough to fantasize about while you're masturbating. See, here's the thing, Coral. You mind if I call you Coral? Well, that doesn't matter because I'm going to call it to you anyway. You see, Coral, there's a lot of people who watch my videos. There's people who actually, you know, want to learn something. Those people who, they're like, oh, cool, that's something I didn't know. There's some people who say, well, that video has nothing of interest to me, so I'm just going to pass over it, watch something else. Then there's the special kind of idiot, like you, Koro, who sits there and wants to bash every single thing that you don't understand. You're like one of those apes in... Uh, 2001 Space Odyssey. Odyssey. You see the giant monolith up in the desert minding its own fucking business and you start beating your chest and throwing things and bashing it with, with bones that you've picked up off the desert floor. You see, Koro, you're pretty much a meaningless, useless person. Uh, I mean, I admit, I'm not the strongest, I'm not the fastest, I'm not the best looking, but I have an incredibly powerful mind. You, Koro, uh, I'm really not sure what you've had, uh, what you have, and going to your channel, I see that you really don't have much of anything. So, rather than feeling irritation, I, I should actually feel pity for you, because you obviously have no intention of learning. Now, for example, when you would have looked at the uh, the checkerboard that I picked to represent this reading, you notice how all the pieces are on the white? You notice that? See, there's a specific reason for that that ties into esoteric uh, spirit, you know, spirituality type mentality. And that is the white pieces on a checkerboard represent ignorance. The black represents knowledge. On this particular piece, there is nothing on the black. Some of the pieces overshadow the black, but you know, they're just not there. I mean, a lot of philosophers have really good things to say, but 
they're still missing that one vital piece. Me, I'm going after that piece. And if you can't handle that, Koro, then go to somebody else's channel because you're really not worth my time. And to all my other viewers and subscribers who are choosing to join me in, you know, my videos and actually watch and participate, thank you. Sincerely, thank you. Uh, although I'm, I'm not really sure that I'm going to do very many more philosophical videos just because, well, I can't say that. Um, I will, but... <sighs> You know, I, I, I've been kind of slacking on the spirituality videos. And I know a lot of you guys don't understand that there really is no contradiction between the mind and the body. Uh, the church teaches us there's a contradiction. Philosophy says there's a contradiction. The state tells us there's a contradiction. I don't think there's an actual contradiction. I think we're just falling for one of the biggest... Uh, uh, illusions that's ever been perpetrated on the human race. I don't believe that there is a distinct, I, I don't, not a distinction, but a, uh, 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 an, an antagonism between those two things. I don't think that's there. I don't think it exists. I, I, I don't think there's any contradiction whatsoever. It's just that we don't understand the nature of how those things relate to each other. And we're a very interesting species. Once we understand how something relates to another thing, we run with it. But getting to that point where we understand how something works, you know, sometimes it's a long process. Uh, you know, I'm, I mean, you know, it's just a long process. So, that's about it for this video.